Hey Penguins, welcome back. As most of you know, the NCAA has allowed us to start phasing back voluntary activity starting June 1st. Uh, during this time when you guys have been away, I hope that you've been healthy, you've been safe, you've been doing your strength conditioning workouts and that your strength coaches have been sending you, and I hope your families are safe as well. Um, during this time, uh, we've been hard at work preparing our facilities, preparing our staff for you guys to come back. Um, all of our departments, sports medicine, strength conditioning, media, equipment, our marketing department, we've been implementing protocols and procedures in conjunction with the state of Ohio and the university to make this area safe for you guys. Uh, a couple of new things that you guys are gonna see around the building that you weren't used to before we left earlier this spring, you're gonna see floor signs around the facility in different areas that are gonna tell you where to stand. They're gonna emphasize social distancing and maintaining that six to 10 feet area. You're also gonna see different posters on the bulletin boards in the locker rooms with different information from the CDC, the university, and as well as the athletic department in regards to washing your hands, using hand sanitizer, and practicing good hygiene to protect you and your other student athletes from possible transmission of the virus. Uh, a couple other housekeeping items to make note of. Here at YSU, it is mandatory that all employees and staff wear a face covering at all times. You will see a lot of our staff wearing this throughout the day. There are certain, there are certain criteria where you can't remove it. For you student athletes, the only time you can remove it is when you're working out or lifting. And our sports medicine staff and strength and conditioning staff will give you more details to this next week. The other thing that a lot of you have already been involved with while you're at home is our, our wellness questions through Kong IQ. Every day, each of you and our employees are required to get on your phone and complete a health assessment. It's seven questions long, and this is how we're going to determine your status that day. You will either be able to work out based off what you answer, or you're not going to be able to work out based off what you answer. You're also going to be required to do a temperature check if you have a thermometer at home. If you do not have a thermometer at home, there are going to be locations around the building that you'll be able to do that. Before you go to workouts or before you come in the athletic training room, you will have mandatory screening and mandatory temp, temp checks by our sports medicine staff. Before you are cleared to work out or practice or do any activity, we have to clear you. If you do not do your health assessment before you come, you will, be not, you will not be allowed into the building or cleared for workouts until we, should, we can look up that you get it. Obviously, this is a lot of new things. So the first couple of days, we're, we're gonna help you. We're gonna help you get through this because it's all new. Um, you guys are gonna have a lot of questions about different things regarding this area and we're here to help. Whether it's me, Steve, Matt, Terry, Alvy, Prado, or Mark, or Rick Love, or Robert Schmidt in the marketing department. We're all here for you guys to keep you safe. Um, the other thing I'll say is, to begin with next week, locker rooms are closed. You will not be able to shower here. You will not be able to break, put your workout clothes in your locker. You need to come ready to lift in the clothing that Coach Terry or Coach Matt tell you to wear for the day. After your workouts, you'll go home. You won't be in the building. Each of our lift groups, you'll have a specific time. And different, and we'll have time in between cleaning and sanitation, Coach Matt will go over that as well. Um, Monday, as we as we bring you guys in, Monday is gonna be our kind of, our dry run with our groups, and it's gonna be a lot of our return of physicals and intakes and screening. So, Monday, you'll come in with your groups, you'll come through the door, we'll bring you in by groups of 10 only. Whatever time that the strength staff assigns you, you're gonna stay with that group and that time we don't want you early, we don't want you late to, to make sure that we, we keep that social distancing and the group numbers at 10 at all times. We also want you to stay with your groups as far as time. Obviously, I know some kids work over the summer, but we're, we highly discourage you swapping lift times so that we can keep you only around the same 10 guys at all times. That way, in case we need to do contact tracing or quarantine, you, you become sick. This, this is not only for your benefit, but your student athlete's benefit and our, our staff's benefit. 
Um, you'll see a lot of different things in the athletic training room. You know, we're, you'll see us wearing scrubs like in a hospital and masks at all times. We may be wearing face shields or goggles, but it doesn't change why we're here. Um, in the athletic training room, you'll have appointments as well. It will not be a free-for-all like it usually is, and we'll go into more details with that. Um, you know, with that being said, we're going to kind of show you through our different facilities and kind of give you a walkthrough, kind of a personal view of what it's going to look like and where you're going to go on Monday. So the first thing Monday, what you're going to do is you guys are all going to line outside the ticket office with your groups. We don't want you super early. We don't want you super late. If we want you here early, we will tell you that. There's got to there's gotta be a big, a big sense of communication between everybody. If you're sick, stay home. Contact me. Contact your athletic trainer. Contact your strength coach. Contact your position coach. We, if you're sick, stay home. Do not come. Um, and we will reach out to you and get them set up the best care possible. So, with that being said, we're going to kind of bring you in like we are on Monday. You guys are going to gather here, like I said. We're going to do all your temp checks and screens. We're going to have iPads. We're going to have infrared thermometers. And if you are if you do everything green light and you're allowed to come in, we're going to escort you in. You guys are going to come through the doors. We're going to take you through the gym. Obviously, a lot of doors will always be open. We're going to walk you through the gym towards the weight room doors and the stairwell. We're going to go straight down to the training room for your temp checks and screenings. Hey Penguins, so welcome to the athletic training room. Now when you guys come, you know, you might notice some different things. Us and our athletic training staff, We'll be wearing face masks at all times. We'll also be in scrubs and a little bit different attire. But that ultimately does not change or diminish our goal to provide the highest quality health care and keep you guys as safe as possible while letting you guys participate. So when you guys enter, notice that there will be signs on the door of an enter only and you guys will exit through the wet room area door as well. When you guys enter, you'll notice uh, floor signs saying stand here. At this time, what we'll do is a sports medicine staff member, probably your respective athletic trainer, will first take your temperature. If you have a fever, you will be sent home. If you do not have a fever, we will move to step two. Step two is our medical questionnaire. It's super simple. It takes about 30 seconds, it's about six questions, and we'll go through that. It'll be either red light, green light. If you answer all the questions accordingly, correctly, you know, and it gives us the green light answers, you guys will be permitted to enter the facility. So I'll go through my questions with Ethan, and if he answers all of them correct, then what we'll do is we can then walk to our respective treatment area. Again, you guys will notice various uh, floor signage. So if we were working out or we were doing any type of rehab or treatment, we want to stress that we maintain social distancing and we use the same equipment for the duration of your treatment. So if Ethan were to require the use of this table, this would be his table for the remainder of the treatment session. Now make note that we will take every process possible to make sure that before you enter this station and this table, all the tables are adequately cleaned and sanitized. That way we prevent any you know, potential transmission for the virus. And rest assured, once the treatment is finished, we will want, that's why it's so important that we use the appointments and not um, you know, walking in or just kind of drop in appointments. Why it's so important, that way that gives our staff adequate time to sanitize for the next individual. Now you'll notice things are a little bit different here in our hydrotherapy area. It's unfortunate, however, we will not have our cold tubs and hot tubs available for uh, treatment. So at this present time, 
the cold tubs and the hot tubs will not be available to you for use. However, while we're also in here, we are asking that you guys exit our athletic training facility through the hydrotherapy area, not to uh, intermingle with the individuals that enter our facility. So as we start back next week with the strength conditioning staff, okay? All of our lift groups and stand ball will meet under the overhang of the stadium on the north side by the big scoreboard. All of our weigh-ins, all of our nutrition, all of our check-ins for the strength conditioning staff will be out under here. From there, we will go to our designated field. So whether it is in Stanball Stadium, on Farmer's Field, whichever it may be, from this point, we will go to that field. One topic that has been brought up over and over again is hydration. Athletes, you will be asked to bring your own water bottle. We will not be supplying water bottles for you. However, we will have pumpers to refill those water bottles if you need. As we get into this, make sure when we come to lifting, you have your face coverings on. As stated before in the video, once we start activity, you will be allowed to remove your face coverings during activity. Once activity has concluded, you'll be asked to put those back on. If you are a training group that lifts in the Beagley Center, starting out, you will be asked to meet on the deck up near the weight room of the Beagley Center or at your designated field. Your strength coach will give you that information. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to contact me or your strength and conditioning coach. Uh, the, new, the new restrictions we have in place here in the equipment room is we've got a glass partition here that you can see with past things under. There'll be no student athletes allowed in the equipment room unless it's by appointment and we let you in. The door will be locked. All transactions will have to take through care from by the window. The laundry chute, only one will be open. Uh, the one without the handle on, so you have no, no desire, no need to touch anything there. You can just throw it down the chute. 